Hey guys, Mr. VPN here, and today we're going to take a look at how to connect to a VPN server in Switzerland. So this is very easy with a VPN app. The app that I'm using today is called Viper VPN. It's one of my top recommended VPN services for a number of reasons. One, that it's easy to download and install, so it doesn't require any technical knowledge of how it works or how to install it or IP addresses or anything like that. They've got a very nice interface and it's also very fast. Oh, and it works on most devices. So it's going to work for Android, iOS, Mac, and Windows, which is going to cover 90% of the people watching this video. So let's get connected. All we need to do is select our country from the menu. This time we are going to pick Switzerland. And we're done. We are now connected to the Swiss VPN. And you can see here that this one on the map is showing that we are located in Switzerland. So the last thing I want to mention, oh, a couple things I want to mention. Not only will you get access to the Swiss VPN servers, but you also get access to all the US, UK, European, and Asian VPN servers. It's all part of the Viper VPN package. And the nice thing is that they have a three-day free trial. A lot of VPN services don't actually offer a free trial. They make you pay up front and then they have a money-back guarantee, which is still nice, but it's kind of, I think it's better to have the free trial so at least you can sign up and try it without paying and out without having to mess with getting a refund or anything like that. So I'll link to you in the free trial. You can check it out, see if it's going to work for you, see if you can access the Swiss websites that you want to access or see if the speeds are to, to your liking. And then if it works out, then you can go ahead and choose a package based on whatever your needs are. The basic package is going to have one connection with the basic VPN protocol, PPTP. And the pro package is going to have two simultaneous connections with your NAT firewall and a few different protocol and encryption choices. So that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.